I'm annoyed. Not something that unusual, considering I'm a middle-aged North American male. Uh, we get crankier as we get older. But what I'm annoyed about is sexism. Sexism in archery, sexism in, well, everything, pretty much everything. And it's a natural part of life. We live in a world that is, painfully, gender-biased. But one of the misconceptions about archery that's going to get me annoyed is what was, once again, brought out to me yesterday. I'm advertising a bow on Kijiji. This one. An inexpensive, wrapped, Turkish-style, 30 at 28 bow. I'm asking 60 Canadian dollars. A fair price. Guy phones me. And if, by the way, you're watching it, this is the reason why I got annoyed very quickly. The first question out of his mouth is, is this a woman's bow or do you shoot it? Well, my tone changed very quickly. Um, because... Draw weight has nothing to do with gender. It has to do with application and circumstances. So the bow that I shoot every day in my basement happens to be this one. I do shoot this one too, but I tend to lean towards this one. Now, why do I lean towards using a Nika ET4? Well, in my basement, I have a grand total of that. I'm not a tall man, and I can reach my floor joists. So if I'm going to risk a bow, which I thoroughly enjoy shooting as much as I can every day, the space I have to shoot and to practice my form and basically just amuse myself, have fun. Um, I lower the risk of doing damage by using a bow like this. It's only 18 pounds at 28. On my thumb, with this particular length of arrow, it's probably about 21. I can measure it, but I really don't care. I'm in a rant. But I'm able to practice my form. Or I can climb on my trusty saddle here, and I can shoot. Now, one of the things I really like about this particular bow, even though I want to sell it, I have 51 bows in my collection, ranging from 70 pounds to 15. And if some of them I actually can't shoot down here, simply because, well, yeah, the basement's too short. It's dangerous. And I have tried. And I have hit that. And I have destrung the bow. And I have had to check my shorts, because holy crap did that scare me. Someday, maybe, I'll show you, because one of them is on video. Maybe. It was humorous. But at any rate, draw weight doesn't have anything to do with gender. It has to do with application. So, when I'm shooting in a space like this, and this is what I have available to me, because I live in the city. For safety reasons, and for comfort, you know, just fooling around, amusing myself. I mean, like, there's nothing serious about this. I'm not shooting at an animal. I'm not hunting. This is a lot more comfortable. I can shoot hundreds of arrows off this. I can shoot for hours, even though I don't, but I can. And not feel anything. If I grab something like this, I can do the same thing. I can shoot. I can enjoy myself comfortably. Right? And have fun. Now, uh, probably about 32, 33 on my thumb based on my draw length and the technique I'm using. If I change my technique, so for example, shooting thumb draw, which is my primary method of shooting since I, I favor horse bows. But I shoot fingers, I shoot long bows, short bows, uh, recurves, um, and I do actually own a compound. But 
we'll say, okay, we're going to do thumb draw, and I'm just going to pull to my chin. Well, guess what? That's not 30 pounds anymore. That's about, I don't know, 27. Um, because this bow changes. It's got a draw curve. Further I pull, heavier the bow gets. Now, there is a limit to how far you can pull it. But that says nothing about gender. It's got nothing to do with gender. So, saying, is that bow for women, is, well, one, false, and two, sexist. Which annoys me, even though that's the world that we live in. And that's why I'm ranting. I do this for fun. I shoot multiple types of bows. Primarily, I favor the horse bows. Uh, the advantage of using these shorter bows, quite literally, is because it fits the space I have available to shoot in. If I go to the archery park to fool around, I use lighter bows because it's just... Oops. Just because it's easier. I can still feel the joy and fun of shooting. And I'm not freaking other people out. I've pulled out and I've shot my 60-pound Kaya in front of people. And scares the living hell out of them because it's so freaking fast for a curly stick. Well, you're not going to go do that in a public park. You're going to use something simpler. You're going to use blunts. You're going to shoot at targets that react. You're going to comply with the restrictions on the space that you are shooting in. Which is what I do. And in order for me to be able to enjoy the shooting, because I'm an urban person, I live in a city, I'm going to use lower draw weights, I'm going to use flu flu arrows with rubber blunts, and I'm going to shoot at reactive targets. I'm going to go shoot at the pole. I'm going to take every precaution so that I do not potentially bring harm to the reputation of my sport. This is an inherently safe sport, as long as you use this. If you don't use it, it's not safe. So there's my rant for today. And I'm kind of running out of things to complain about. The point is, is that draw weight does not mean gender. Type of bow does not mean gender. The whole point of archery now is quite simply having fun. Enjoying ourselves. It is actually technically a form of exercise. It's a sport. It's a recreation. It is joy. I do this for fun. Keep having fun, guys. Cheers.